Act. We turn to the race for governor in New Jersey, where just six weeks ago, the challenger Chris Christie enjoyed about an eight-point lead in the polls over the incumbent governor, John Corzine. Well, the polls now have closed, and the race is a statistical tie, perhaps thanks to an infusion of money and negative ads. John Bentley took a look. If you didn't pay your taxes, ignored ethics laws. Voters you say they hate them. It? Chris Christie. Politicians Corzine. say they're necessary. Tax failure. They may be tough, but I think they are contrasts, and I think on the issues that matter to the voter, we're on the right side. They're the attack ads that clog the airwaves around every election. He promised he would put us first. So why do they always seem to crop up? Wrong when it matters most. Because they work. To the extent that it's become closer now, that's in fact many things. You've got a lot of advertising, a lot of awareness, and also a lot of partisans probably coming home to their respective camps. Not to mention a lot of money. Governor Corzine has chosen to pay for his campaign and his expensive television commercials John Corzine has out of his own pocket. And that gives him a leg up in the race, according to Princeton professor Nolan McCarty. New Jersey is a very expensive state to run in, not only is it an expensive state in general, but it doesn't have its own media market. So when a gubernatorial candidate wants to buy time on TV, they have to go either into New York or to Philadelphia, which are two of the most expensive media markets, and oftentimes they have to buy time in both of those. So the, the immense resources that uh, John Corzine brings to the table really does give him an advantage. I stand with them. Corzine stand says he was sure forced into running the ads by outside groups helping his opponent. If you look at just uh, what Mr. Christie is able to spend, you might see it. Uh, some difference in what is going on. But if you put together what outside money from the Republican Governors Association is, uh, it's about an equivalent. You're balancing the scales, is that what We're you're trying saying? to balance the scales, absolutely. But Corzine is receiving help from outside groups as well. He's also not limited in what he can spend on the race by campaign finance laws, the way Christie is, because he is self-financing his campaign. Hey, guys. Corzine has a very large financial advantage. Um, in recent uh, campaign reports that have just come out, he is outspending Chris Christie at, at this point by a fairly substantial margin. How big a margin? The latest campaign finance reports show Corzine outspending Christie $24 million to $9 million in the general election. Everybody feels really badly for our poor governor um, who feels as if he's being outspent. But if it's typical for what he spent in other campaigns, he will outspend me three to one, um, no matter how much any other group spends. Corzine has made it worse. Despite running some negative ads himself, Christie is also trying to stake out the moral high ground by criticizing the negative campaigning. I hope you're as sick and tired of all these negative commercials as I am. I think the race has gotten a little nasty, in part because of the money involved and because the kind of the spending has been focused on kind of negative campaigning. So how that plays out, whether on net, you know, the governor benefits or, or loses from that type of campaign, I think is yet to be seen. Another thing that hasn't been seen here in 12 years, a Republican governor. Christie's lead in the polls has all but vanished, and he and Governor Corzine are now locked in a dead heat. And that may be good news for the governor, because only two incumbents have been voted out of office here in the past 50 years. John Bentley, CBS News, Trenton, New Jersey.